and we're recording. Greetings, salutations, this is Rick Koppel coming into another episode of Not a Linux Guru Guy. Today we're going to take a look at Arco Linux and how to install another window manager on Arco Linux, which uh, I've shown a live stream, but I wanted to get it on tape for for a upload video so that I could condense it down more than it could on a live stream. If you already have Arco Linux installed some desktop like XFC or or uh, Bungie or, or KD or whatever, you can install using this method of installation. It's only when a manager you want or any desktop you want. So we'll take a look at that real quick. Let's go down to our desktop here. It's my current install of a uh, Qtile basically. I gotta go over here, the keyboard's over here. Yeah. Nothing for. I'm going to log out real quick on this thing so you can see what versions I have on here currently. Right now I'm a Qtile. I have installed uh, Wonderland, Worm, XFC, and Xmonad on here. We'll go back in our Qtile session. Please right keyboard we're logging back in our Qtile session. So here we are in our Qtile install. And we have all those other ones that we showed you just a moment ago that we have here. How do you how do I install those? Well, because I originally installed Qtile on this one, so I didn't have a desktop, any desktops other than Qtile, which is more strictly a window manager and is a desktop environment. So I installed SFC plus other all those other window managers on there. So Arco Linux Tweak Tool, that's what it's called. And then we'll want to put in your password and you go into it. Arch Linux Tweak Tool, so it's not, it's not Arco, it's all Arch Linux Tweak Tool, pardon me. And here you have all these things now. You can install a lot of stuff on the, with this. You can install NeoFetch, mirrors, logins, grub, you can change your grub configuration quite easy with this with this actually. So you might want to think about doing this someday, huh? <laughs> but yeah, you can change in your grub, you can change your backgrounds, you can change your uh, how many timeouts, seconds that it allows you. I set mine for 10 just because I'm slower sometimes in figuring out what I want to do, so. Import image and you can select wallpaper and apply. So those are all things you do in the group now. Here's desktop is where you want to go though for adding things in. Here's still gives you a list of all the desktops you got on here. Which you can install. Several desktop environments as well as several, a lot of uh, various uh, window managers you probably haven't ever heard of before. I actually saw alignment on here too. I tried that out. It's kind of funky so then keep it but yeah you can get rid of your window managers and your desktops but you have to be careful when you use desktops on them let me see what I mean and this launch Arco Linux desktop trasher it does pretty much what it says it trashes your any window manager or desktop to put on here you have to be careful when you take out this desktops environment so because because it can take out your log, ability to log into it if it's the only desktop you have on there and stuff like that. can screw that up, so you want to be careful about using that for taking out desktops, but it'll, it'll take out window managers pretty easy. It's like we had uh, x on there. So you go down here. Let's say we're going to take out Wonderland here. Window manager, one, it's window manager and a little Durland. Wait a minute, or warm. Take out any of these. So then you just trash that desktop. Take a little bit of risk here. Desktop removed. Okay, so now we go back a minute and see that. 
Yeah, you'll be able to see that uh, the Wonderland no longer there. So we have this installed. So awesome, it says it'll tell you when you select desktop here, it says desktop is not installed. When it does get installed, then so if I want to install awesome or any of these other ones. Okay, so I think I did go into some of these, like uh, Barry, I had no idea what that was. It's a window manager, basically. Very good one. <laughs> but uh, it's a window manager. And uh, we also have Chad window manager. I haven't heard of that one before. And so something that they have added on to in here that I have not seen before. Hyper. Uh, and so they have all those. They have Mate desktop in environments. A GNOME. Enlightenment. And now in Lyman, you can install it as a window manager or as a desktop environment, either one. It's interesting, isn't it? So let's just say we wanted to install... Oh, I don't know what we want to install here. So let's say we want to install Awesome. Let's do that one. So you select it on here. It'll tell you it's not installed, so that means you can install it. And you, if you're going to reinstall some, sometimes it's the idea to select to clear the cache before it's reinstalled. You can do that, and that will make it easier for you. If you don't, you hit reinstall there if it's a reinstall. I'm not sure what the difference between these two is, but I guess maybe this one doesn't erase uh, configuration files you might have in place or something. So let's install awesome. First of all, I haven't installed Awesome on here a while, but I'm very familiar with Awesome. And Arco Linux's version of it. And it says the desktop is installed. Oh, yes. So, now you exit out of this. And then we'll go ahead and reboot this just to make sure everything's. Register in there and take it into account. Oh, yeah. Reboot. And it's going to reboot now. Okay, there's Qtile. There's Awesome. Awesome, man. And there's the other one. Now you see the War of the Wonder, Wonderland, Window Manager Wonderland is not there anymore like trash that one so let's go into awesome so we got to see if it's actually usable default's pretty standard on it i think there we are there's awesome this is awesome window manager in our linux and it's how i have it set up so super q will erase it and Super return will hit the terminal open. Pretty cool. And also, let's just check real quick while we're here. Check out what uh, kernel we're using, which is 6.0.12. Pretty recent kernel, I think. Up, pretty, fairly up to date for Arch. And so that's, uh, that's how you do that. And now uh, it's Alacrity Terminal. Instead of my normal Kitty Terminal, but they have Alacrity built in, so that's fine. Alacrity's about as fast as Kitty. Well, I'm kind of used to Kitty, so I kind of like it, but it is what it is, so. Um, that's how you change it and how you get rid of them. So uh, you can get rid of get rid of awesome or get rid of any one of those warm or those other one of the managers. Let's just check and see what some of those are like. It seemed like I had some issues or problems with them, but I don't remember what it was off the top of my head. So let's kill that and log out. Go up here, we'll check out some of these other ones that are downloaded. Warm. May find out why I didn't want them. 
or why I haven't used much. Let's see. Okay, now you notice all these window managers almost look the same, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it's because they basically do the same thing. They were managed windows. And sometimes these things over here will have it enter, they'll have it right. Super shift enter will enter a file manager where super enter will enter a terminal. So, super shift enter. That is your file manager, which uses probably Thunar, I think. It looks like Thunar. Usually most of these go with the XFC type things. Yep, Thunar is the man window manager on this one. And then... Sometimes though the on some of these uh distros or window managers, especially ones that are like that. I don't know what if this uh yeah, this is a uh a tie dynamic tile window manager warm is with uh monad tall on there. You can uh Except this one, you perhaps have to click into it. To, it's just kind of aggravating to me. I think it's probably the reason I didn't like using this particular one. Because he doesn't automatically return focus to the next window automatically. Probably way a thing in there in the configuration file you can change for that. And uh, probably find the configuration file that. Uh, Let's see. Let's make sure it's not here. That warm, warm, warm rear would be over there. Yeah, I don't see warm, so we have to go to fig. So a CD to fig. And worms right there. Yes, CD. Warm. And you got that now, XX, XX, SXHKD, the key binding file. It handles the key binding. And I assume RC is the is the uh, configuration file for Worm, probably. Nano RC. Yes, it is. Worm C. It basically looks like it's got a configuration that's a batch file. Um, Comment warm layout floating. You have floating windows tiling manager if you wanted to. Either window or tiling. It uses the only tiling window manager dynamic tiling it seems to have is Monad Tall, though. It's fine. It's one I use all the time anyway myself personally. The launch is Polybar, which is what's used up there is Polybar. And there's your different things you can run. Padmac, pa Tray, and there's your Variety, and there's your uh, your network applet, your PADMAC tray, your HFC power manager, number lock is on, Blueberry tray, that's your Bluetooth, PyCom, which is your configuration for for using the uh, compositor, and you have your GNOME authentication agent. And your notification system there. All active. Must be one of the issues with this that you have to click on a tile to get it to be the active window. That automatically activate a window when you kill when you kill one out. That can be problematic when you're trying to close windows because in Q tiles you you can Super Q and it closes out the windows, each one in turn. And of course, there's ways where you can there's key bindings you make, and you can get then that by going here to see. Okay, so now we're gonna go to CD. And I got it right. Um,
And there's your can your file. So nano. Okay. So you have all your key bindings listed here. And some of you want to change, like uh, if you have certain keyboards, they're difficult to have F7, F function keys to use on it, because you have to press down a function key in order to get a function key to work. And then you might want to change that. So, like, Thunar, like Ropey, is a good example. Like, I don't like the Ropey to be uh, it's so D-run, which is the main one. I don't like it to be. A function key since it's, it's hard to do on here, especially this particular one. So. Yeah, so I like to put Q on there. Have I know there's no Q, Super Q. No, Super D. Excuse me, Super D. Uh, there's no super D in here otherwise. So yeah, you just change it and then you save it. X out of that. Close that out window out. We'll close that window. Now we should hit D. We have to log out first. Let's see. Okay, now we're back in warm here. Now if we hit super D, we get ropey. Yeah. If you like if you like ropey then you love that, huh? So anyway that's uh that's our cool Linux. That's how you can install your own window manager. You can kind of check out weird stuff if you want to. Install a live window manager. You can install other window managers on here. So that's window managers, and you can install window managers in the Arco Arch Linux uh, tweak tool. And. Um, that's all I had for you. I didn't really mean to show you that much, even that much of the of the discs, or I was just showing you warm because I wanted you to see what you can do with it a little bit at least. So subscribe if you have a mind to. And uh yeah, we'll see you next time. And may the Linux force be with you. Bye.